Kizo tutorial for beginners how to use Kizo. Hello guys, Ilya here and in this video I'm going to show you how can we use this online video editor, movie maker and video maker as you can see. So basically it's pretty easy, just follow these steps I do to not make any mistakes. So in order to use it we need to visit kizo.com and we'll come to this page. You can log in as a guest. Basically, it's pretty easy. You don't have to input some information. So after that, we need to click on Open Kizo in the center of the screen. So let's click on it. After that, we have two options. We can do like templates and create them from scratch. Let's try to use templates and we'll show something from like templates and from scratch after that. So click on templates. And as you can see, we have two options here. We can change the ratio here, like vertical, horizontal or squared. So I'd like to use landscape. As you can see right up here, we can change it. We can also change the, you know, different uh, topics of our videos here in the left side. Basically, the interface is a little bit old as for me is not that like easy to basically it's easy to understand, but it's not like that modern. So let's choose school education and we'll use this template. For example, I'll just click on next here and we can also in the next page add some of our media here. I'd like to add photos or videos. And I'd like to use two of these videos here, click on open and it may take a little time. It depends on your internet speed before they will be like uploaded to their platform because you know, it's like online service. So it may take a little time. Let's close it. It's like in a background and um, let's click on next to work with other part here. So it may basically, yeah. So uh, they were successfully edited, as you can see. So now we can just click on next and uh, we'll go to edit. Before this, we need to choose them from our like library here. So basically this is our template we are using before some editing, we can customize it. We'll do it in a few seconds, so let's close. And as you can see in the bottom of the screen, we have like a different timeline. So uh, we can, uh, change something or do some other stuff here we can click on it and simply you will edit so uh, what can we find here we can find text area effects area gifs audio and logo so if we'll go to text we can change this text right up here so let's try to write something like hello like this uh, here we can change the text font let it be like this text size text effects and also start and at and like end time here we can change the color basically pretty easy and click to select our text effect basically it's like animation let it be like this and uh, as you can see now it was successfully added uh, we can click on text and it will be like previewed to us so after that, this sun is basically ready. So yeah, we can simply click and then just close it right up here. So uh, the next sun is like with our video, we successfully edit. Uh, we can also change the text. Let it be like nature rain nature. We can change the text uh, font text size text effect let it be like this for example and also like start and end time we can change the color let it be like something which is like purple and uh, we can change the effect let it be like this so after that we can close it and as you can see it was successfully edited here um, the next stage is with this one so the steps are quite the same and uh, we can add some images here in, we can add something like from here in order to like download this video we need to click on download and it will be like successfully 
uh, you know, export it and download it to our PC. So we can just simply click on download, input our email address and password. And after that, everything is will be basically done. So it will come to come back to the home page. You, you will click once more. Uh, we will come to the same page basically. So uh, we can also go to, you know, uh, Kizo College Maker and create collages right up here. My movies, uh, my accounts and so on. We can also find a lot of transitions here in transitions folder. We can apply them between. So we can just simply drag and drop it right up here, for example. So we can try to, you know, uh, play our video and find how does it look like with our transition. It looks like this. Uh, so we have like also effects area. We can apply them to like video. For example, it will look like this. We have text area. We successfully like worked with it in the previous versions. We have GIFs here. We can upload them or use. And also we have like music option. We can add our own music to work with. And um, we can add it to our video. In the bottom of the screen, as you can see, we can find, you know, uh, the music which is playing. It will be right up there. So on the settings page, uh, there is like settings. We can change the title. We can change the transition speed. And we can also change slide background color. We can deal with. Basically, it's pretty easy. Also, there is some like information about project, our movie creation date, movie duration and so on. So we can also browse the templates. We can what would you like to do? Delete and replace and insert an extra sequence. So let's click on delete and replace and try to find something more which is interesting. Maybe in business area or real estate. Let it be like this, for example. So we can just simply click on next. Choose two of these videos and click on next once more. So after that, we are ready to edit. As you can see, now it looks like this. We can customize every single part. We can go to text, customize text, and do some other stuff. Customize effects, GIFs, audio, logo, and so on. And on the next sense, there is like our videos we edit. For example, this one is right up here. And basically, this is a way of how can we deal with Gizo. It doesn't provide a lot of different features, but you know, we can still buy a lot of their plans and maybe they'll, they'll add some more features right up there. So um, this is a way of how can we deal with Gizo. I hope this video helped you out. If it is, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. I wish you a very good day. Goodbye.